Jordan 6 Lowe's. Uh, here we have the uh, white infrareds. Um, I've been after these for a while. Uh, as you can see, we have the Jumpman logo or the Jumpman logo. Uh, there'll be no light ticks on these. And we've got the newer releases, which are the Black Crows. Uh, these came out recently and I uh, got my hands on them. So, yeah, let's do this. Well, Jordans are a Nike shoe and brand inspired by Michael Jordan, produced by Nike. What's odd, or you could say what's different about these shoes, is they've omitted the Nike tick since their release back in 1984. Um, so as you'll see, you have the Jumpman logo, uh, as the logo is there, uh, and it's a silhouette of a famous slam dunk by Michael Jordan. So yeah, the sneakers were originally produced in 1984, specifically for Michael Jordan, but then uh, released for consumer, you and me, uh, normal consumer consumption in 1985, so a year later. Now this particular model of Jordans had a new design by Tinker Hatfield in 1991. The Jordan 6 has introduced a reinforced uh, support around the toes, um, two holes in the tongue, and also a molded heel tab. You'll find that the molded tab on the back of the heel uh, is more apparent in the mid and high versions. These are the lows, obviously. So as you can see, the Achilles would be around here. You don't get so much of the molding, but you still have the Porsche inspired rear pull tab these things here. Not too comprehensive and not too deep, but just a, a brief brush up on the Jordans and the history behind them. These ones, the white black infrared or the white infrared lows, uh, came out on the 4th of July 2015. Um, they haven't been restocked yet, but uh, you should still be able to get them at some places, but there's probably limited stock. The Jordan 6 are black, white, silver or black, white, chrome as some people are calling them. These were released on the 29th of August 2015 and are still in stock in a lot of places so you should be able to get them. The infrareds, uh, you should be able to get them in all sizes. When I got my hands on these, these were only available in size 6 to size 12. So that is a US size 7 uh, to 13. Um, they do come in all half sizes as well. So 6.5, 7.5, 8.5, 9.5 and so on. What size do the black, white, silvers come in? These come in every size you can think of. So they come in kiddie size, they come in uh, all female sizes and all men's sizes. Oh, the biggest size I've seen is a size 13. Uh, US that would be a 14, UK 13 obviously. And half sizes in between. So yeah, they are pretty bad or good. Depends your interpretation. When I say they're bad, it means good. Some people say they're good, it means good, whatever. So how much are these? The white infrared lows, £130, um, approximately $175. The black white silvers, again, £130 and around $175. If you go to one of them exclusive trainer websites, or the ones that deal with rare or hard to get trainers, you could be paying £300 for these. These ones are still highly stocked, so you shouldn't be paying more than £130, £150 for them. Um, but I've seen some places, uh, some Ebayers are selling them for about £300, £350. So just be careful, just be careful. They're £130, and in, in the smaller sizes or the kids' sizes, they're £75. Don't get ripped off. Any denim jeans you could think of, any colour, stone washed, normal denim, distressed denim, dark denim, they go with anything. So you should have no problems wearing these. What do these go with? Black jeans, black t-shirt. If you want to go for a smarter look, because I've got mates that are like, oh, they, they look too young. They look like the sort of trainers you'd wear if you're trying to be young. If they come in something called men's sizes, it's for men. You just need to know or figure out what outfit to go with that make, doesn't make you look like an extra on Hollyoaks or something. Uh, I'm gonna give you some ideas of the stuff I've worn these with now. Uh, 
Yeah, that's it from our review of the Jordan 6 Lowe's uh, infrared and black, white, silver or black, white, chrome as some people are calling it. Don't forget to check my other videos up. Uh, that's CAF's weekly hold up series where I talk about news and stuff and funny videos of the week. Uh, the next one will be, uh, the next one I believe is episode 8 and that will be ready next week because this week I've done the review on these bad boys. Share, rate, subscribe, spread the word uh, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Run, 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 run.